Across the U.S., February is National Heart Health Month. Doctors usually ramp up efforts to get people to eat right and exercise to keep the old ticker ticking. We're here to share some medical wisdom from the heart is one of our favorite MDs, Dr. Poonam Malay. <laughs> Thanks for coming on board this morning. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Let um, me draw some stats here. Heart disease, a leading cause of death in the U.S. In 2010, 785,000 Americans had a heart attack, 470,000 had a recurrent attack, and every 25 seconds, an American will have a heart attack. Every minute, an American dies from one. That's serious stuff. That's very serious stuff. Um, and, you know, when you started the segment, you put your right hand over your heart. And I want you to do that again, because that's really what it's about. You know, uh, you can feel your heartbeat in your mm -hmm. hand. You can feel your heart in your hand. Your life is in your hand. So this is something that you can control. You can prevent heart disease. Um, if you manage your life uh, in a way where your risk factors go down, 80% of your risk actually is eliminated wow. um, as a result of taking care of yourself. So how do you reduce the risk? What are the big things? So you can't change your family history. You are, the genetics are what the genetics are, at least for today. Um, but there are other things that you can definitely do. Um, for example, managing your weight. Even cutting down your intakes by 100 calories a day, you can lose 10 pounds over the course of wow. the year. Um, exercising, 30 minutes of working out on a regular basis on most days of the week is very healthy. Mm -hmm. so and even that doesn't mean you have to hit the big weights Oh, no, not at all. Like I say, I've said it in my segments before. Just do what you enjoy doing. Like, mm -hmm. I love dancing, so I dance for 30 minutes. So do whatever you enjoy doing, but remain physically active. Mm -hmm. um, watching what you eat. Uh, and again, something that I've talked about is the rainbow diet. Lots of fruits, vegetables, colored kinds of foods. Stay away from the red meats. Eat lots of fish. Uh, stay away from, uh, you know, uh, uh, saturated fats or, uh, you know, trans uh, fats. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing is m manage your blood pressure if you have blood pressure. It's very important to control that. If you have diabetes, manage your blood sugars. Smoking, I can't say enough about smoking, sure. the number one cause of preventable death. If you stop smoking today, um, your st risk starts to st uh, go away immediately. Mm -hmm. So you see the effects immediately. And I read something interesting, little dietary things like swapping out uh, olive oil for butter. Yeah, things like that. I mean, little things that you can incorporate into your daily life is going to be very, and you can eliminate 80% of your risk factors. Wow. Knowing your numbers, talking to your physician, identifying what your risk factors are, and knowing what those risk factors are and how you're going to manage. Um, we often talk about a journey of a thousand miles starts with one single step. Mm -hmm. It's about that single step that you take. Uh, it's not an easy journey to make, you know, lifestyle, healthy lifestyle choices. Sure, old I habits mean, die hard. Yeah, I mean, I I'm a working mom, uh, you're a working dad, we're all doing lots of different things juggling our lives, but you have to start somewhere. You have to come up with a plan that's manageable. Um, break it out in small pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, celebrate the small successes. If you fall off the track, get back right onto it. Um, surround yourself with positive people who are going to motivate you. Sure. Um, you need to find a buddy to help if you need that. But whatever you need, try to get that help. There's a perception that this is a disease that's largely among men. But women are, are suffering uh, heart disease almost as much. Absolutely. It is the leading cause of death both in men and in women. Um, and so we've done a lot of public and private partnerships where uh, there has been a lot of awareness, especially in the women, to ensure that they know that, wi that heart disease is the number one killer in that population too. Uh, women fear things like breast cancer, uh, but the good thing is over the last 10 years, lots of national campaigns, whether it's the Go Red for Women program, or uh, whether it's the uh, heart health, you know, staying uh, healthy, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's the million uh, heart life saving campaign that sure. we're uh, currently, in, uh, you know, g undergoing. Those things are helping raise the awareness. Uh, one of the big things that the NIH uh, along with the American Heart Association and also the HHS, the Department of Health and Human Services, we've, we've launched a campaign known as the Million uh, Heart Lives uh, Saving a Million Hearts campaign, mm -hmm. where by the year 2017, uh, the goal is to prevent 
a million deaths from heart disease, heart attacks, and stroke. And a lot of that, again, involves awareness. Sure. And it's knowing your ABCs. So Very if you're- basic things. Yeah. Those are basic things. So if you're at high risk, talk to your doctor about taking aspirin. That's what the A stands for. Mm. B is for your blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, make sure it's controlled. C is for your cholesterol management, because it's the cholesterol that starts accumulating in the plaques of the coronaries. And then clogs the arteries. And the S is for smoking and salt intake and stress. So, you know, those wow. are the things you can take care of. Dr. Putamale, always a pleasure. Thanks much. Thank you.